Time has shown us that people enjoy wine in both good times and stressful times. And although it might not be virus proof, we believe it will prove virus resistant from an economic perspective. We are the team representing Babers Bor University from Romania and we are very excited to present you our valuation report on Purkar Wineries, a group encompassing four brands in this business portfolio, from which three wineries and one distillery in both Romania and the Republic of Moldova. Based on our analysis, we issue a bar recommendation with a one-year target price of 25.05 Brun, representing an upside of 28% from its closing price of March 13, 2020. The key factors influencing our bar recommendation consist of the consolidated business model along with its outperforming corporate governance, the consistent financial performance of Purkar and its strong competitive position. Now, I'll let my colleague Claudia to lead you for the first key driver. Despite being one of the most popular alcoholic beverages worldwide, for the Romanian and Moldovan culture, wine is more than that. It is to be mentioned that these two countries hold 4% of the entire global surface for grape cultivation. And, due to wine's deep roots in the national heritage, Purkal Group incorporated a specific scheme to deliver a constant high quality. From manual harvesting, until thermovinification and the oak barrels used for storage, they provide tasters with a unique experience of savoring every drop. The group's brands cover a wide spectrum of tastes, from still and sparkling wine to the brandy specialties. Over the last four years, it was granted the CE Winery of the Year at the Canter, the Wine Olympics hosted in London. The group proves to be the largest exporter of wine from Moldova, and delivers its products to over 40 countries in Europe, Asia and America. When we take a closer look at their portfolio, we notice that the biggest slice of their revenues is being held by Romania with 41% and Moldova with 23%. In what concerns the business lines, Purkar is the most profitable brand, accounting for 40% of the sales. Moving to corporate governance, the company boasts with an experienced team which we perceive to be one of the winery's biggest assets. Our, assumpt our assumption is also reflected in the notable performance of 86% that we computed for the effectiveness of corporate governance. It's important to mention that the wine industry in which the group operates is expected to grow at a higher pace compared to its substitute sectors. The main movement direction is represented by premiumization, which is perfectly incorporated into the company strategy. In addition to that, as winemaking plays a significant role in the Republic of Moldova's economy, the state authorities are motivated to support this sector and to create good premises for its development. Regarding competitive positioning, with a 24.8% net profit margin in 2018, Purkari is a leader in terms of profitability and growth in the Romanian wine market. The group enjoys strong reputation in the eyes of its clients as well as international experts and benefits from a low-cost production platform, which boosts company's competitiveness. For a better assessment of the wine industry in Romania and Republic of Moldova, we conducted a survey, which emphasizes the following ideas. Wine is the top preferred alcoholic beverage among our respondents. The most popular price paid for a bottle of wine ranges between 30 and 60 rom and the group's products are on top of consumers' preferences. Next, I will let my colleague Bogdan introduce the financial side of the group. Digging into the group's financials, we found that prior growth can be structured on four main pillars. As Purkar Wineries is a leader in terms of both profitability and growth in the Romanian wine market, it managed to boost its net profit margin from 0.2% in 2015 to an outstanding 22.2% in 2019, positioning itself well above its main local competitors. As a result, it can already capitalize on a stable consumer base in terms of both medium and premium wines. Moreover, when it comes to EBITDA margin, it sets Purkar wineries at the top of the list among publicly traded wine peers at the global level, and all of this while being consistent in delivering on all of their issued guidances. Looking forward, we expect the group to benefit from a generally fragmented wine market by expanding through new acquisition of small wineries both in Romania and Republic of Moldova considering all 40 markets where the group operates together with the impact 
of COVID-19, which according to Bloomberg is expected to peak at the middle of 2020, we estimate a 14.6% KGR in total revenue growth from 2019 to 2024. Additionally, we expect the group to deliver a robust earnings per share growth of 14.9% in the forecasted period. We consider that the group's capital expenditure initiatives, strategic shift toward premiumization and improving operational efficiency will drive net margin expansion moving forward, those in turn leading to a superior return on equity of almost 27% in 2024. We are very confident on the group's upside potential and Marius will tell you more about it. Taking into consideration the investment pillars mentioned before, we proceed to our valuation, which comprises two approaches for capturing both companies' fundamentals and its position on the market. We assign a weight of 80% to free cash flow to the firm and 20% to relative valuation and reached a target price of 25.05 Ron per share, representing a 27.8% upside from its March 13, 2020 closing price. Our free cash flow to the firm analysis consists of a year-on-year -year forecast until 2024, followed by a 3.16% constant perpetuity growth. For discounting the cash flows, we used a weighted average cost of capital of 9.3%, which is driven by a 12.5% cost of equity and 4.6% cost of debt. The cost of equity was computed by using the capital asset pricing model and was adjusted to a weighted country risk premium of the group's main market. Following this valuation model, we arrived at a target price of 24.72 RON per share. For the relative valuation, we identified price to earnings and enterprise value to EBITDA as the most relevant price multiples, because both reflect the profitability of the group against the industry benchmark. Moreover, Enterprise value to EBITDA also accounts for capital structure differentiation between companies and allows us to adjust for the debt held by one. For the peer selection, we carefully analyzed the business operating lines of other European players from the wine industry and we also took into consideration a revenue and market capitalization proximity. In comparison with peers median, wine trades at a discount. So, by giving equal weights to each of these two multiples, we arrived at a target price of 26.39 RON per share. In order to validate our model, we performed the Monte Carlo simulation, which reinforces our buy recommendation with 73.2% for our DCF model and 94.5% for the relative valuation. To complete our analysis, we also identified potential risks, none of which are both high probability, high impact, the group mitigating the rest of them very well. Today we will focus on three of them. In response to the global pandemic spreading for a time span larger than is now expected, it is mandatory to mention that despite the discouraging news, we expect to see an increase in home consumption of wine and higher levels of online wine sales from retailers, which will help alleviate the effects of cancelled events where wine is usually consumed. Despite small effects in the past, the group may be adversely affected by foreign exchange differences as of the financial laws it has in place in foreign currency. At the same time, the company offsets this risk by cashing in revenues in the same currencies in which the financial borrowings are taken. Being an agricultural business, there is also the natural risk due to climate change, for which the company has no hedging arrangements in place. Still, the geographical diversification of production platforms and vineyards, along with its efficient capital expenditures in new technologies, helps the company in overcoming this risk. Likewise, management is constantly adapting their product range and sales mix in order to conform with the shifts in temperature frontiers. Keeping in mind the main drivers we have discussed today as the stocks foundation, we believe we found something that the market hasn't priced in yet. Additionally, management has sent a strong signal by finishing a share buyback program worth 4.5 million RON at the end of 2019. Hence, we remind you that we are issuing a buy recommendation with a target price of 25.05 RON and an upside of 27.8%. Finally, we know that wine has been a part of our civilization for 8,000 years. And although society may not be driving cars in 20 or 30 years from now, we will assuredly be drinking wine. Thank you.